Andre Keys Create a Man web series. Make sure you subscribe to www.heritagehiphop.com. To everybody from Jersey who watches this, which means everybody watching this, you know these faces right here. These are the faces from the most incredible web series that has been on the net since. I'll let them tell it to you. Please introduce yourselves to the people. Andre Keys, Creator Man web series. My name is F4, I play the character Officer of the Ball. I'm D. Lanise on Facebook, I play Lanise and Mayhem web series. And everybody who knows me knows this is my web series of choice from the beginning. Word, word, word. So let's get into it. Congratulations on all the success that Mayhem has garnered. Thank you, Salute. Thank you. So let's get into it. Now, the creative process that someone has to go into to actually create characters and put a story and build the world around them takes a lot of time and a lot of insight. Yeah. How did Mayhem's concept come together? And then what steps did you take to make it a reality? Uh, as far as the concept, it was just, it was on the wing, you know what I mean? I came up with just uh, uh, a wife that's, like, devious, you know what I mean? She don't care, she's just for self. So I just ran with that and everything else just built off of that, you know what I mean? And the process behind it was finding the right people, you know what I mean? And Ed was, like, actually one of the first people I went to with the idea of doing the project, you know what I mean? So... It all just, for Mayhem, like I can't speak for all the other web series, but for me it just, it was like on a whim. Like I just went with it, it was an idea, but I just made sure that everything was structured right. You know what I mean? Down to the detail, you know what I mean? Because detail is what separate Mayhem from a lot of web series. You know, there's thousands and thousands of web series, hundreds a day come. So I just paid attention to the fine detail and just made sure we was, you know what I mean? Doing a lot of realism stuff in it, so that's where the success came from that I can see. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm come back to a lot of what you said, but I want to focus on what you said about realism and detail. First and foremost, Elizabeth, New Jersey, historically, being that it was a part of Newark originally, mm -hmm. when it broke off, Elizabeth was the port city that was fighting for its own economical identity. Then as Elizabeth became its own city and people of color and Hispanics start taking over Elizabeth, Elizabeth grew up with culture, mm -hmm. whether it was music, whether it was running numbers, gambling, or even if it was a sports town. So Elizabeth has a very extensive history. Yeah. So when it was done in Elizabeth, New Jersey, the people who love Jersey was like, hmm, because mm -hmm. everybody else talks about North Jersey City yeah, playing yeah. on the train. Yeah, we get looked over. Can't do that no more. So, seeing that I seen like the manor and downtown Broad Street and everything, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay, this is some home team type yeah. stuff. What does it mean to represent your idea, your look, your culture, and keep your home as the central part of not only the story, but now to have the world take notice to that culture and bring it to life? It meant, it, it meant everything to me. Like, that was my main focus. You know what I mean? Um, Prior to Mayhem, I had like a little music background and a lot of the artists wasn't getting no recognition from out of Elizabeth. So when Mayhem, it just wasn't a web series that I was forming, it was a platform for underground artists to be heard across the world because we knew we was going to make it that big. It just was going to take some time to get there. So again, it just, it just mean everything for me to represent the town, the city, you know what I mean, the state, like just that, like that's why you see the... Garden State logo on our shirts. That's so when you see it in New York, you see it wherever, you see that stamp. That stamp say Jersey. Like, it's not a New York show. We Jersey based, Elizabeth, New Jersey. You know, that's deep because I actually met Mac through watching the show and got my Garden State clothes. Mac, a dope dude. Yeah, that's dope, my dope. guy right there. Yeah, and good, genuine dude. I salute him because not only did he grind, but the show even bought higher understanding to Jersey, to the people who think Jersey is just Jersey Shore and North only. Yeah, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? My favorite character, I ain't even gonna get into it right now, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> mm -hmm. But my favorite character on the show is just straight Jersey. You, you just tell by how they just react or how they do the lines and act their line. Mm -hmm. It's a certain attitude to a Jersey dude that you yeah. just can't, you can't mimic that. You either yeah. born with it or you just freaking. You don't mm -hmm. got it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? 
So let's go to my man Ed right quick. Let's talk about one of the stars of the show. You play, um, let's just say, you play a very a very risky individual on the show that's connected to law enforcement. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was a good way to break it down. <laughs> to, to get into character, what did you have to do to, 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 to emulate that? Because the way Mayhem is written, the gift of the show is that you can relate or pull something of yourself out of every character the way they're portrayed. How did you get into the character and find yourself to embody that character and make him you? Well, I pretty much just try to go off of what I experienced, you know, growing up before and stuff. Uh, you know, I've seen Dirty Cops before, so and I watched a lot of movies, like Training Day for one of them, and that was one of my biggest influences because Denzel Washington is one of my f most favorite actors. Okay. So, <clears throat> so basically, uh, you know, going off movies, going off our experience outside in the streets and stuff like that, uh, pretty much gave me an idea of how I should portray my character, the bow and stuff. And I also, and I just, um, yeah, so I, I just developed it that way and stuff. The best thing about being an actor is you can pull from other actors mm -hmm. and you can pull from personal experience to build your own character. Mm -hmm. Like the genius that Heath Ledger, Ledger did in The Dark Knight, <laughs> he pulled from a comedian and the actor who deadpanned his voice to create the Joker. Mm -hmm. When I looked at your character, the first person I thought about was Simon Phoenix. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody knows about the demolition man, Simon Phoenix was the man. Mm -hmm. But the thing that made me remind and it had the similar features of y'all two in my mind was Simon Phoenix was a diabolical character that brought a punctual clearness to his intent. Your character is very like, what the fuck you mean? Like, what you saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, straight you up bring front. It, and you straight bring up that. Front and but even just like Simon Phoenix was very clear in his delivery of he was going to touch you when he needed to touch you, so is the bow. What did you see, or how did you draw that energy into that character? So, like I said once again, that's you and not a separation. Um, I kind of just, like I said, from the stuff that I experienced and I've seen from uh, movies and it, when I experienced the stuff, I also just kind of put myself in that situation and stuff. So I bought, so I, I put like how would, not the bow, but how would Ed be as a cop that's crooked in this situation right now? So basically, what would I do in this situation? How would I react with the authority that I have? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much how I enter you seeing it. So, so pretty much if I'm running down with a pullover and I'm robbing somebody or I'm hiding, I'm hiding in the bushes, I'm about to hop out and shoot somebody, I put myself in that predicament. Well, how would I transition myself from being a cop and make it believable to me being a cop and then also switch it as me being a street dude because I'm crooked at the same time. So You, you do an excellent job. Thank One you. thing about mayhem that makes it work <laughs> is that you don't you you can see the story, but you don't see the acting. It's very transparent. That's why it's my favorite web series. Period. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of standing and fanning right now, but we're going to get to the point of why we doing this. You know what I'm saying? Let me talk to the little lady right here. When you came into the series, you were not only portrayed as the love interest, you were always also portrayed as the "I got you, what now?" As a woman in acting or the acting field, especially a woman of color, we're always seeing them portrayed in the light of the whore, the the one to be used and not in a position of power. On the show you have a position of power by backing up your man but still letting everybody know that no matter what you do it's us together. How important is that when you portray your character? It's very important. I feel like it's very easy because I feel like it's, it's our real life too. Like we've been together 14 years. Like I back him up on Congratulations. everything. Congratulations, that's big. So it comes naturally playing that part when it comes to having his back. Like it's, it comes easy to me playing that part. <laughs> so let's flip it. When it's easy in it's real life, if somebody had to ask you, how do you do what you do so well? What is the answer? Is it just that you live it, or do you actually pull something out of yourself to portray what you want to be or what you do? You know, on a regular. 
it's mostly because I live it. Um, and I get a lot of motivation from them because I don't feel like I was actually good at it in the beginning. But like you said, like they they are they act really good. So I watched them and it made me wanna, you know, act better. So it made me wanna pick my game up. <laughs>